that maybe A-Rod still wasn't a real Yankee yet. Well, Tuesday was a big step toward earning those pinstripes. The Yankees hosting the Angels. Alex Rodriguez, 385 career home runs, 15 shy of 400. First inning off of Bartolo Colon. Two on, two out, yard. Three run shot, career shot number 386, his fifth of the year. And it's 3 0 Yankees, a sign of things to come. 3 2 New York, next A Rod at bat, takes Colon deep to left, 387, 5 2 New York. A Rod, two for two so far, two homers, five driven in. In the fourth, he comes up with the bases loaded. Mike Sosha is going to let Colon face A Rod, leads him in. 2 0 pitch from Bartolo Colon, just misses. Now the 3 1, and Colon will challenge A Rod. High strike. Full count. Could it be three homers and three at bats? Hit deep to center field. Going back, Finley. Still back. Looking up. See ya. A grand slam for Alex Rodriguez. His third home run of the night. Oh, what a month for Rodriguez on a Tuesday in the Bronx. 11th granny of A-Rod's career. All three home runs coming with two outs against Bartolo Colon in the sixth against Kevin Gregg, his fourth at bat. Rodriguez in the 0-2 hole, singles up the middle, it scores Bernie Williams. A-Rod, four for four with 10 RBI, just the 11th player in big league history with 10 or more RBIs in a game. Four for four with three home runs in a single so far. Eighth inning, facing Jake Woods. Jake Woods goes outside corner, and it's there. Next pitch, A-Rod lines out. He finishes four for five, three homers, 10 RBI. One RBI shy of Tony Lazzari's AL record, two shy of the Major League record, shared by Jim Bottomley and Mark Witten. Yankees win 12-4. Here's A-Rod. I've hit three home runs twice before, but uh, nothing quite feels as sweet as this. Doing it in New York, doing it in the pinstripes, and especially doing it here in the stadium in front of our fans. I feel great, definitely. Tonight was one of those very magical nights that uh, I haven't experienced, obviously, very much in the major leagues, but uh, it was a special night, a good, clean win for us tonight. I think we have the best team in baseball. I think we're going to have a great year this year. Uh, that, that thought has never changed for me. I think it's just a matter of, uh, for us, getting healthy, getting good starting pitching and defense. And, uh, you know, give our, 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 an opportunity for offense to get rolling. And I think over the last two or three days, we've done that. Alex Rodriguez, just the fourth player in the era of divisional play to produce at least three homers and 10 RBI in the same game. The first since Nomar Garcia Parra nearly six years ago. A-Rod also just the third player in big league history to have a three homer game for three different teams. Joining Johnny Mize and Dave Kingman. What a night for A-Rod in the Bronx. Peter Gammons. Fenway 5-3 game Manny Ramirez against Rodrigo Lopez. Manny. Number 397 of his career, three hits, five RBIs, hitting 273. Ramirez's his seventh homer this year. It's 8-4 Boston. It was a three, two outs. Luis Matos looking for space off of Matt Clement, finds it. Here comes Sammy Sosa, one of 12 hits allowed by Clement. Here comes Terry Francona. Goodbye, Matt Clement. Charged with seven runs. Wow. 8-7 game. Keep folk in to close it out. Not quite. Against Miguel Tejada. Tejada, his fourth hit of the game, and it hits the sports authority sign. Talk about authority. Six homer of the year. It's 9-8 now. Baltimore on top, and Javi Lopez. Lopez with some insurance. Folk, his first blown save of the year. 20 hits by Baltimore. The Orioles are seven games over 500 for the first time since 1998. Before the game, the Sox put David Wells on the 15-day DL with a right foot sprain. He's expected to miss at least a month, but he won't need surgery, according to Terry Francona, who also said John Halama will take over Wells' spot. Next inning, Brian Jordan. Giving Smoltz some run support for a change. For goodness sakes, the Braves had scored just four runs in his previous three starts. It's 1-0 Atlanta on that double. Johnny Estrada. Uh, it's all about placement. The bloop. Braves scored three on four hits in the first off Pedro. Top of the fifth, Adam LaRoche facing Martinez. Martinez struck out eight. He leads the majors with 46 Ks. He was gone after seven. Bottom six, John Smoltz in a jam, two on, two out. Smoltz, who had struck out 15 Mets in that April 10th loss, had just four Ks Tuesday, gone after six and two thirds. Bottom nine, Mets down two, two out. Mike Piazza, pinch hitting, bone bruise in his thumb and all, comes through. He did his Willis Reed imitation. Shea was jumping. It's a 4 3 game. Carlos Beltran in, and Beltran creates more excitement at Shea. And Piazza hustling all the way and is safe in at third. So we got a ball game. Two outs, runners on the corners, closer Dan. He called out after allowing two runs in the ninth. Next batter, Cliff Floyd against John Foster and O. 
Floyd, a little over anxious, pops up to short game. Over Foster with his first career save. John Smoltz with his first win as a starter in four years. Well, John Lever looking to go 5 0. Phillies and Nationals at RFK. Bottom one facing Nick Johnson. Johnson's 16 game hitting streak, the uh, tops in the major leagues right now. This is his first home run of the year, and it ties the game in one. He goes yard off Lever. To top three, John Patterson rings up Jason Michaels. Patterson's ERA 0.98. He's been one of the quiet stories of the season so far. Bottom five, runner on second for Brad Wilkerson, a Frank Howard shot into section 470. First upper deck homer at RFK in 34 years. 3-1 Nationals. Lieber said my command was just horrible. Top seven, Bobby Abreu gets a walk from Patterson. Patterson's done. Next up, two outs, Jim Tomey. And the Nationals get out of the jams. Patterson gives up just one run on six hits and six and two third. First loss of the season for Lieber. Nax beat the Phils 3-1. John Patterson finishes the month of April 0.98. That is a Montreal slash Washington franchise record for anyone. Facing Rich Harden in the fifth, and Harden plunks Carl Everett. Everett has something to say. He usually does, and he eventually goes over there. Harden tagged for six runs, five earned, on nine hits and five and a third. Top six, Juan Uribe, Eric Burns. Oh, he lost it in the lights. Aaron Rowan is going to get waved all the way around from first, and this ties it at four. Uribe had a big night, three for five. It was 7-7 in the eighth. After Damaso Marte balked in the tying run, Rubio Durazo gets by Willie Harris. Marco Scudero comes in, and the A's win 9-7. They snap Chicago's eight-game winning streak. Hey, what about the Twins and Royals? Johan Santana's won 16 straight decisions entering the game. Since 69, only Roger Clemens has had a longer streak when he had 20 straight wins. Others with 16 in a row include Randy Johnson, Rick Sutcliffe, and Tom Seaver. Bottom three, Santana rolling. Ask Alberto Castillo about that. Eight Ks for Santana. Joe McEwing, not good. Next batter, Santana. Working on maybe winning a second straight Cy Young. Goes 8-5. It's allowed. One earned run to the ninth. Runners on first and third. Two out. Tie game. Not anymore. The popular Lou Ford. The blooper. That'll bring in Michael Kadaya. The Twins win. Joe Nathan is six save and six chances. And Santana hasn't lost since July 11th. The Royals, a league worst, 5-15. and 15. Yes. Hold on, Met and Giant fans. Runner on first, Phil Nevin into pinch hit, and there it goes. Oh, yeah. He may be a former Met. He's still Armando Benitez. Number four in the season for Nevin ties it at five. Bottom end, J.T. Snow doubles into right. Snow had a big night, four for five. Jason Ellison is in, 6-5 San Fran. Snow missed a uh, cycle by a home run. Top nine, Benitez, tying run on second. Jeff Blum to first. Snow makes a tremendous play, but Benitez over to cover. Oh. Comes up lane, has to be helped off the field. Still no definitive word on his condition. Didn't look good, Giants 1-6-5. Diamondbacks at Dodger Stadium looking for their fifth straight win. Top two, Sean Green. Off Scott Erickson, yard. His third home run of the season, all against his former team, the Dodgers. 1-0 Arizona. Erickson gave up three earned on four hits and five. Bottom six, Jason Phillips to right. Green sticks the landing to end the inning. It was two for four at the plate as well. Bottom nine, J.D. Drew up, facing Brandon Lyon. Two on, Diamondbacks up 3-2. Lyon gets through to ground out to Craig Council for the final out. Arizona wins 3-2. Lyon's 10th save, tops in the NL. Well, he got lit up. Down 5-3 in the fifth. Adam Dunn! His second in two days, sixth of the year, a solo shot, puts the Reds up six to three. And next hitter, Zambrano, going to come back with a little something-something for Austin Kearns. Hello. Yeah, Zambrano ejected. He allowed six runs on seven hits and four and two-third year out of here. About a five, six, six. Jason Du Bois, two-run home run, his second, eight-six Chicago. Eric Milton gave up four home runs. Yard. Reds down 8-7 in the seventh. Javier Valentin, base hit. Corey Patterson issues. Valentin, three for five. Reds win 11-9. They match the season high with 15 hits. Marlins and Rockies on a very special day. Yes, it was April 26th, 10 years ago. First ever regular season game played at Coors. Let's flashback. 1995. 
14th inning, Dante Pichette wins a three-run walk-off homer. Rockies win 11-9. This game looked nothing like that one. Juan Pierre at bat. Marlins down 3-0 in the fourth. Pierre loves the Rocky Mountain Air, his eighth career home run, but his first homer in 729 at-bats at Coors. Top of the seventh, more Pierre. Marlins up 6-3. Pierre, it's an RBI triple. Josh Beckett, who had a two-run double, comes in to score. The Marlins score five in the seventh and win nine to three as Josh Beckett overcomes a shaky start to improve to four and one. He's a minor league outfielder for the Seattle Mariners. He also is the fourth player to test positive under Major League Baseball's new policy on performance-enhancing drugs. The 26-year-old Strong was sent down to the minors in late March. Last season, he hit 324 with three homers and had 19 stolen bases in 64 games for Triple A Tacoma. Time for Sports Center Express, shall we? Top nine, speaking of the M's, up 5 4, two on for Raul Abanez. Oh, he loves that. Two runs will come in to score. Mariners go up 7 to 4, and you know what? It's amazing they win by that very same score. Oh, how ironic. Or oh, I don't know. We'll figure that out. Devil Rays, Blue Jays. Dewan Brazelton with the bags full. Rios hits it the other way for a base hit. Two runs come in to score. And Toronto, you know, deceptive team. They win 7 to 5. Brewers, Cardinals, nothing deceptive about the Cardinals. They're just plain good. Albert Pujols taking advantage. Cards win their fifth straight. They've won 10 of their last 11 saying, hey, guys, what were the 10 best plays from Tuesday? I wasn't saying that. Oh, you really got to chip in a little bit. Okay, Here at so. number 10, Nets Heat, Shaq, Flash. Shaquille O'Neal, Dwayne Wade. Wade had 17 points. Heat take a 2-0 series lead on the Nets. They win game 2, 104-87. Number 9, Brewers Cardinals, Albert Pujols. You know, three for five with four RBIs, but the man can play first base. Plot, he's really paying off for Albert. Way to go. And the Cardinals are red hot. Five wins in a row, 10 of the last 11. What a toss. It's all about the core. Number eight, Orioles, Red Sox. You know, Bill Miller missed a bunch of games last week, had the flu, but he looks healthy from here. Unfortunately, Matt Clement was a little D. Orioles uh, won at Fenway. All right, guys, number seven in Chicago. Casting call for the new Double Mint Gum Twins. A lot of twins showing up. But would these ladies win? Now, the outfits too. that's talent. Number six, Mariners, Rangers, Alfonso Soriano. The glove flip. That is tremendous mitt work. And Number twins. five, I want more Cardinals. Lyle Overbay in foul ground will make the grab in the stands. Somewhere John Anderson is happy. Overbay would uh, cut himself on the plane, receive 12 Ooh, stitches. Oh, man. That's painful. You got to love the Brewers. They'll, they'll be, all right, what's going on here? Gotta Pikesville, Maryland. Some buffalo just wandered onto a neighborhood tennis court, and we got to get them out of there, and, you know, Tatanka. They were looking for Maria Sharapova. Number we three, Mariners Rangers. Brett Boone. Booney. He still got the jump. Let me tell you, full extension by Boone. No bat flip, though. No. Number two, A-Rod. Oh, yeah. Three homers, 10 RBI as the Yankee beat the Angels. All three homers coming off Bartolo Colon, including the third one, a grand slam. Three homers, 10 driven in by A-Rod. Yeah, but can he do this? Number one, Oklahoma, Wichita State, the catch of the year by Wichita State's Matt Brown. Five ball down the right field line. Brown in foul territory, and uh... Oh! He may have caught that ball. The umpire's racing down there. He got it. Oh, the outfielders have decided this is their night. What a catch. 